Myth number two. Outside of ancient Egypt, Africa has no writing of its own. In Before the Slave Trade, I address this issue. The Sunday Times Magazine, 28th of January 2001, drew attention to the fact that in the West African city of Chinggeti, there are 3,450 handwritten manuscripts still held by African families and institutions. According to Olivier Blaise, some of these date back to the 8th century AD. The nearby cities of Walata and Wadane have perhaps 6,000 manuscripts. Professor John Honwick has made it his business to study the old manuscripts of the city of Kano. So, what is in these manuscripts? Professor Charles Stewart of Illinois University estimates, quote, that a quarter will be jurisprudence. 10% would be Sufism, which is mysticism. 10% Arabic language. 10% studies of the Quran. 10% literature. 10% biographies of the Prophet Muhammad and Hadith, which is tradition. And 10% theology. The remaining 15% is likely to include works on history, logic, ethics, biography, mathematics, astronomy and astrology, medicine, encyclopedias, education, and geography. To westernize, this is Indiana Jones stuff, ancient texts holding secrets that have been lost over the centuries, age-old learning that coexists with but is not part of the modern world. But although the keepers of these volumes appreciate their value, any passerby is allowed to look and learn if they wish. In Ethiopia, 12,000 manuscripts have been photographed or microfiched by scholars. The oldest is the 10th century AD Abad Garina Gospels. Many scholars have published on these manuscripts, such as David Buxton and Roderick Grierson. Many of the documents are of a religious nature, containing hagiographies, texts by and for monks, histories, etc. As in West Africa, Ethiopia also has a tradition of making illuminated manuscripts.